Russia pays record 25% of budget for Putin's paranoia, U.S. intelligence. Russian President Vladimir Putin's paranoid fear of alleged Western attempts to limit Russia's power has led to the spending of about 25% of the Russian state budget on militarization, according to Director of National Intelligence of the U.S., Avril Gaines. These estimates were made during a hearing in the U.S. Congress. Gaines said that NATO's efforts were aimed at assuring the opposite, that the West does not threaten Russia, but Putin himself accelerated events he was trying to avoid by his own decisions. We are talking about the accession of neighboring Finland and Sweden to NATO. The intelligence chief is convinced that Putin continues to believe that there is a threat to Russia and believes that increased militarization will convey this message to Western and domestic audiences. Senator Angus King asked how Putin can be convinced that NATO is not an aggressive bloc and is not going to invade Russia. According to the senator, Russian intelligence services are inherently a paranoid organization. Yes, I agree with you that there is some paranoia involved. Putin does not believe that the security of his country is in some way threatened, Gaines replied. The Russian president's strategic goals, according to her, also remain unchanged. He continues to see NATO expansion and support for Ukraine as confirmation of his belief that the United States and Europe want to limit Russia's power. In addition, Gaines said that Putin is trying to use global events, such as the escalating conflict between Israel and Hamas, to divide us from our allies. Putin is now convinced that domestic and international events are developing in his favor, the head of the National Intelligence Service said. She predicts that Moscow's aggressive tactics will continue and the war is unlikely to end any time soon. Putin is ready to spend more and more budget funds on its continuation. Putin has increased defense spending to nearly 7% of Russia's GDP, almost double the historical average, Gaines said, adding that the Russian defense budget now accounts for about 25% of all federal spending. In Berlin, a major fire occurred at the metallurgical plant of the defense industrial company Deal. Build reports this, currently, four floors of the building have completely burned down. Part of the building has already collapsed. The fire can no longer be brought under control from the inside, said fire service spokesman Adrian Wenzel. 130 people were involved in extinguishing the fire. It is noted that chemicals are burning in the building and there is a risk of the formation of hazardous substances that spread along with the smoke. Residents in the Lichterfeld area are asked to close their doors and windows and turn off their air conditioning. The cause of the fire has not been announced, the fire department told residents that the cloud of smoke is currently moving north over the city. It is expected that the cloud of smoke will move over Steglitz-Zellendorf, Charlottenburg-Wilmersdorf, Spandau, Tegel and also the west of Rienickendorf over Berlin. Now the fire department is urging residents living nearby of the toxic fumes caused by the fire. In March of this year, it was reported that the Tesla plant, which employs 12.5 thousand people, in Berlin was evacuated due to a power outage after arson. Before this, environmental activists set fire to a substation near Berlin, paralyzing the work of the Tesla plant in Grunheide, against the expansion of which they are protesting. Earlier, the rapper of Russian-Ukrainian origin had his Mercedes burned in Germany.
Siehst du das Wasser da hinten? Ja, ich sehe es. Aber guck mal, ich sehe auch da Feuer. Ja, ich auch. Eine Explosion. 